Hello and welcome to free sample of the week. This week we are looking at a lap harp. Now this has five round robins and four velocity layers. And what I really, really like about this instrument is the fact that he has stretched the natural range as well. We're not just stuck. We're not just stuck with the, the natural range, which I understand that is the instrument itself, but a lot of these instruments, I'm just like, if you just stretch the sample a little bit, you just have that option, which you don't have to use, but it's nice to have it there. And sometimes, especially the lower octaves, sound really nice stretched. So what is a lap heart? Well, the image there hopefully uh, gives you an idea. It's basically just a harp that kind of sits in your lap or a piece of wood with some strings on it and you pluck it. Sounds quite um, narrow and reedy, uh, has 15 strings specifically, but it can, I feel, work really nice to bring a melody out. Um, anyway, let's jump into the Decent Sampler. The link is in the description for this product. Free as always, this is free sample of the week. Uh, works within the Decent Sampler. So let's have a poke around with this instrument. So we have ADSR, as we can see there, we have this lovely large range, some volume control there, delay, uh, delay time, and reverb. So out of the box, let's have a little tinker. Let's see how these round robins and velocity layers stack up and see how this uh, stretched sound comes across. I love it. It's beautiful. It has this almost synthetic vintage sound, but mixed in with the organic naturalness that comes across because it, it is a recording of an actual instrument. It's sampled. Um, but especially that low note, I love that. It almost has this feedbacky, ampy sort of effect that I really like and just almost quite spacey, which obviously comes from the reverb. If we turn that off, You have this really nice intimate and close sound. There's a little bit of noise on it, but if anything, that actually adds to the sound and that vintage vibe I'm kind of getting across. Love the fact there's a delay there as well. If you mix that reverb back in. And the dynamic layers are definitely there. Not getting a shotgun effect as well. Which shows that there's round robins and shows that there's velocity layers and I feel you could get quite... Do some fast patches. And repetition without it sounding too off. Nice to see. Um, that does nothing. And you can tame it a little bit there as well. Quite a bouncy sound. I like how much you can add with the delay there. Um, ADSR, I like how it's set up actually, but I'm gonna 
mod it ever so slightly to see if we can get a different sound. And just add probably some more volume there. Yeah, I rate it. It's a fun bread and butter sort of sound that's very flexible. You can get this intimate and close sound. You can get this spacey and reverby sound. There's a fun bit of delay you can mess around with there. Always nice to see the ADSR and really nice to see that we have this extended range. I feel you could do a lot with this instrument. Uh, and that is why it's my sample of the week. So thank you so much for watching. I've hoped you've enjoyed this. Link is in the description to download. Great job, a Sonis Lucas. I hope I pronounced that right. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.